Justin, sitting here at Collar City Guitars uh, with Peter, and uh, got a guitar that uh, just came into the shop and things just blowing us away. We wanted to do a quick little video, kind of go over some of the uh, extra special features and uh, just give you a, a general rundown on the thing. Uh, this is a 2016, I believe, yes, uh, PRS McCarty 594, which is PRS's uh, most recent uh, iteration of the McCarty. Um, the 594 uh, number basically kind of denotes the, uh, the scale of the guitar. Um, what they've done with this model um, is they've gone from their usual 25 inch scale and sometimes 24.5 inch scale and they've uh, designed a guitar that's got a scale of 24.594 uh, scale and really all that means is that uh, it kind of plays like uh, you know a little bit more like a Gibson um, It's got uh, a little bit more slink to the strings for bending stuff like that uh, So just give you a quick little rundown um, It's got the uh, McCarty uh, 5815 pickups uh, humbuckers, which are basically uh, their take on like a an early PAF humbucker um, it's got an asymmetrical neck. Basically, the neck is, uh, it, I think they call it a pattern vintage. Um, it's like their pattern regular neck. It's just a little bit chunkier. Uh, super comfy. Um, you know, very easy playing guitar. Uh, ten top. Um, it's got a nice weight to it. Uh, I think this one is somewhere around 7 pounds, 15.8 uh, ounces. I think that's what Peter told me. Uh, color, um, they call this black gold burst. I'm not sure if you can tell from the the video but it's actually got a satin finish um, which is nice uh, you know it's got a nice smooth feel to it the neck is you know got a nice uh, smooth feel I know sometimes guitars that have a, a gloss finish can get a little a little sticky but this is a you know a little bit different feel um, pretty much set up you know exactly like a Les Paul you've got your your tone control uh, or your pickup selector excuse me right here um, neck neck and bridge and then bridge and then in terms of uh, controls, you've got your volume for your neck and your tone for your neck, and you've got your volume for your bridge and your tone for your bridge right there. Um, most McCarty's uh, that I've played are usually kind of a two-knob setup. I actually have one myself. I have a, a 2009 McCarty, and that's a, got a, a single volume and a single tone. So the nice thing about having the four knobs set up the, the individual tone and volume for each pickup is that when you're in that, that in, in between position, um, you can get a, a little bit more, uh, a little bit more of a variety of, of sounds by, you know, rolling off on the bass a little bit and having your treble up or, or vice versa. Um, so I guess I'll, I'll, I'll do a little bit more play and kind of go through some of the pickups for you. I'll let you hear it with a little bit of overdrive and, uh, and that'll be that. So neck pickup, clean um kick on a little overdrive let's go middle 
bubble. So this is a combination of the bridge and the neck. Um, it's going to be a little bit snappier sounding, a little bit more pop. Maybe with a little overdrive. And as I was saying with this one, if we wanted to, we could roll a little bit off the, the neck and, and uh, the bridge pickup will pop a little bit more, a little bit, a little bit more, uh, got to have a little bit more edge to the tone. Or we could go the other way, roll the bridge down, have the neck up. And then we'll go all the way to the bridge here and that will give us our most, uh, you know, kind of our, our edgiest sound. I'll let you hear it clean first. And maybe with a little bit of, a little bit of overdrive. And that's pretty much it. I mean, it's just an awesome guitar. I mean, you know, very, very typical, uh, you know, PRS quality, uh, set up amazing. Um, you know, the, the, the nice thing about, about PRS guitars from my experience is uh, they stay in tune fabulously. They obviously have great tone. Um, and it's really just a guitar you can enjoy and not really have to worry about uh, getting set up every couple months. Um, so uh, that's pretty much it. Um, I'll let the guitar speak for itself. Thanks.